this Aphelios. It's kind of the old school pairing. Thresh does help out uh, the Aphelios in a lot of ways where he just kind of covers a lot of his weaknesses. And it's also a good matchup into the Rakan, being able to stop him on the engage with the grand entrance. And at any point, being able to catch him out, Rakan, an engage champion that doesn't have a lot of resistances, so very unique in that sense. It's kind of squishy. When you look at the other side, though, a lot of threat into this backline. LGD going for a ton of dive with the Akali, with the Vi, and with the safety of something like the Zaya. Grogus fits just perfectly in here. So now for the side of AL, they need to be able to play defensive, something that's going to operate well under the turret, going to be able to stop them. Cassante was taken out pretty early. Sion, I think, would be a perfectly fine top lane blind, even into the Grogus. Sucks in the lane. We already saw later game. We're talking about this game going much further could be a really valuable top lane tank absolutely i think that's the best way to kind of look at it is that you know, top lane tank getting you something that can engage in but this is something that's been kind of very much exclusive i feel like to the lpl the aatrox coming in as a little bit of a top lane counter to these tank top laner engages so really like seeing it coming out here for the side of al giving them another little point of pressure and again just more kind of forward pressure to push in on the dives I want to see what ZDZ can do because up against JDG, he was taking them to task. He was making sure to keep them honest, keeping them responsible, saying you need to be able to answer me in the side lane. Eventually is the one that TPs into the base and ends that first game, giving them an advantage. And into the Gragas, it's a very good matchup. As long as you can keep Gragas at arm's length, you can poke him out through the laning phase. You can make sure to be a really, really resilient bruiser. And you look on the opposite side, while they do have a lot of dive, that Q3, all of them can be very, very nuisance for the side of LGD. Absolutely. You got to feel like for LGD, they're going to have to be a bit more creative, you feel like, uh, in these kind of engages. But a point and click CC and the disengage available to them with the Zaya and the Akali makes it just as difficult for anyone's legend to try and really take down these carries in one swift blow. We'll have to wait and see how it all ends up unfolding onto the Rift as both these teams desperate to try and get their season back on track no one wants to be falling this far down in the loss in, in the season this early on but unfortunately somebody's got to do it in a league of wins and losers there's got to be winners and there's got to be losers it's unfortunate someone's gonna have to win today anyone's legends if they do they will move forward with two wins in their series lgd still searching for their first one a lot of series going to three games for them but they need to be able to close this one out here in game one, anything can really happen. I think we've seen the evolution of these two teams really start to hit a fever pitch now that we've gone past the week three hump. We've seen how LGD, they're able to play. Wind Meteor is able to play very aggressive, get into somewhat of a carry position. And I think Vi is perfect at, at that. Gives him some mobility tools to play and, you know, do some skillful expression. See how they go for it right now. Of course, ZDZ has want to make it work. Cease and assist straight in. Jump on top of the Aphelios. Do not allow him to do anything. Not quite getting the two kills, though. So they oh. missed quite a bit. Not quite able to get the 100% down. But one kill is still good for LGD. They get the man they wanted. As now Zora thinking about maybe going for something here. But there's not another person in that brush. And he's not going to land the death sentence. But AL is harder. Got some free time in the mid lane. Yeah, he gets a play for themselves. That is going to be a wave missed out by iBoy, as well as that kill going over to Hai Chao. So trying to make good on that. And that was a lot of flashes there. Meteor and Hai Chao no longer having their flash is something that can be punished as the game goes on. We we'll get a look at this replay here as to what exactly happened. I mean, yeah, Zora, preferably you want to have Zora sitting in a position where he can try to do something like this try to get everybody off of this Aphelios just wasn't it also got pushed off by the uh, uh, cease and desist and we'll see what anyone legends can do they still have this rift herald available to them if they maybe want to use this in mid lane to just try and get some extra gold boy. iboy's dead not yet he's got a flash but he's not got much else to do with it now yeah he's gonna go down now envy getting himself a kill in this bot side and that is just a very poor play coming out from iboy there not respecting the fact that he's all alone and it's again it's a zyra khan it's getting more difficult. You got, have to rush those Merc Treads. And again, having those available to you, that extra tenacity, just makes that fight so much harder. Does it? I mean, he's, he's, he's walking into the river. <laughs> we could see it. He AL at first of the play here. Not yeah. saying it, and then you're just like, yeah, no, I, was, I, I had to get it. I, I had to do it. Come on. Yeah, we, we have a long series ahead of us potentially here. 
First play, they are on this dragon. They are hitting it. There's teleports coming in. It is high chow. While Decade is moving on over, walking on through, there is no blade caller available for Envy for the next few seconds. Oh, he's so Meteor. Lit. Meteor gets the ultimate in as well. They're going to try and burst it down. Whoa, I don't think he wanted to go that deep. And now, do you have to fight? Great explosive cast from Decade. Do it separate everybody else, and they cannot go for a re-engage. Chai Chao looking for a perfect execution. Says one more, one more push on it, but not going to pull the trigger on that particular ability. It's a one-for-one -one trade. LGD get the dragon, and LGG getting themselves closer and closer to that soul. We get a replay of this. How did Harder steal this? I mean, he just walked up. I, I was gonna say, yeah, literally just walks up. Xiao Hao just. Oh I, I, wait, I really what is that know. calculation? Yeah, Eight, nine, I, I, I thought. Yeah, all right. Well, Jin Zhao, this grand entrance and this quickness isn't able to get much. They walk straight into the uh, cyclone coming out from this Wukong. And now Rift Herald here, Xiaoha on the opposite side of the map. ZDZ could potentially go to stop this, but is actually going to back off and try to cover his uh, his jungle. Make sure that the Vi is not trying to invade. Jinjiao. And they're going in, but that's going to be the clone. You ulted the wrong one. And that's a bonk on the head from Hai Chao to secure the jungler's set. Jinjiao almost going down as well. Actually, Harder goes golden as Hai Chao goes in with the perfect execution. Well, that's all been happening. Top lane turret did go down in favor of LGD, but all said and done, it is still a AL who come out with the kill. They come out with a dragon pressure and they come out with a win. Oh my God. That's so heartbreaking for LGD. They're like, oh, we're, we're, we're going to kill Zhao Hao. We're going to get him. We're going to take him down. It's the clone the entire yeah. time. Great use of the trickster there coming out from Zhao Hao as... Yo, trying to find this engage, but all of it is focused on this Wukong, meaning that no one else is able to do anything. I mean, Harder is here. You have Eyeboy. He's putting down so much damage as well. So feels like uh, LGD kind of just seeing blood in the water, seeing red, seeing, oh, see hero, kill hero. Potentially not going to have a dragon fight at all. It's going to be the Baron starter. Let's go, here. LGD! They're looking for it. Right. Yeah, I mean, AL's already got us out. So I'll go back to my original question. How do you want to see I, both these teams approach this dragon? Is it going to start in a like second? This? You're never going to get an opportunity for it. A good hook stops the quickness from following back on the ZDZ on the backside of this fight. But a Thresh versus Rakan taken out in this fight. Getting decent damage, the feathers are flying, Indeed. and Harder cannot flash away. He actually flashed and instantly died. I didn't even see the animation. That's how quickly he was dead. And this 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 Zaya is starting to really put in work. So much was expended, but they gained the fight and they gained the dragon as well. Or do that they? fight was a huge advantage going over to AL. I thought the cyclone was stopping so much. I boy having to play around ZDZ now. Here we go. Demonic Ascension coming in here for ZDZ. You're going to see High Chow miss his hurricane flip. The dragon's still putting in work here. ZDZ gets hit by all the feathers and he gets taken out. Envy finally coming to life in the LPL. 4 0 and 2 here on this Zaya and doing some work. Sometimes eek out advantages, specifically on something like a Jinx where you have that reset potential. And I want everybody to see where Zhao Hao is in this. Stops the initial perfect execution. Is able to stop Jin Zhao and Akali yet again. What a perfect start to this fight where then Envy plants its feet. No threat from the enemy team. It's all about trying to see if they can get some kind of engage. The Annie and the Wukong have such incredible bursts, but it doesn't matter if for squat if you can't get it out there. And I will say Decade is level 18. He is so far ahead of everybody else in terms of levels. Now that those extra stats is just invaluable to this team and now with dragon on the rift maybe we look for a fight here we go they're gonna try and go for it but immediately envy goes in to the feather storm now high chow on the backside looking for eye boy okay. as harder has gone down they're not able to kill off the jungler of lgd and lgd are looking for these kills double kill coming in here now for envy uses his flash and his cleanse but gets every bit of example that he needs from it and now lgd they might not even a dragon they still got baron they can push up for this wave they can push up for this win they can go for it. I mean, Haichao has teleport as well, waiting for it. Actually, he's just going to use it bottom lane. Two members left for anyone's legend. And, and LGD, they're going to take game one. Yeah, this could be it. This could be LGD taking themselves a 1-0 advantage over against AL. Flash away by Haichao to try and keep himself alive. But this AD carry of LGD is just too damn big. Nothing you can do. We'll call it a delayed quadra for the LGD Envy. And that is going to be game one of this best of three to LGD.